Hello everyone and welcome to another video. As promised in this video we are going to discuss hardware and we will complete the mining rig frame. Here we have the core components. We have a set of G-Skill DDR4 2400 8GB memory kit. Pentium G4400 socket 1151. Thermal paste that we are not going to use, and the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. This motherboard has 13 PCI Express slots. So I've been building computers on and off for about 15 years, um, high end machines upwards to about $10,000. I've never lost a component due to static shock, knock on wood. This will not be a tutorial on building a PC. There's plenty of those out there. As you can see, there are 13 PCIe slots with one 16X slot. Here's a shot of the IO side. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this board. In no way is this a gaming motherboard. It is specifically designed for cryptocurrency mining. A second board was purchased which will facilitate my dual 1326 total GPU mining rigs. CPU only goes in one way and you see the little black cover that's still on the socket. Leave it there. It pops off automatically once you uh, lower the locking clamp and uh, lock the CPU in place. Thermal paste is not needed as the stock fan comes with it already applied. Firm pressure to all four corners to seat the fan. And now we're ready for the uh, memory. This video doesn't show it, but I ended up using the full eight gigs on this kit and I purchased a second set um, of eight gigs for the second rig. Um, We'll go ahead and set this aside and get back to the frame. When we left off in the last video, I was setting the wood pieces at the bottom that'll support the motherboard and the power supply. The motherboard is gonna have standoffs um, and the power supplies will just sit right on the wood frames. Here, I'm gonna be setting the power supplies in place in the final build, these power supplies are not used, but initially I was going to use them to run the six cards um, and then the 12 GTX 1060s. These are Seasonic 650 watt platinum power supplies. Um, here I'm taking measurements just to make sure the cards um, will have enough clearance. The next few shots will show me going through the planning process of creating the top structure where the actual graphics cards will mount to. As I evolved when I was starting off with just six cards, um, I was going to wrap or excuse me, just have you know three cards on one side and three cards on the other side. Um, this quickly evolved after um, the desire for me to have more hashing power to hold 12 cards total. So I have three on all four sides. Again, there is an evolution to this project. This frame was not ideal to hold 13 GPUs, let alone the 12 initially. But here you see my spacings that will have the runs down the left and the right side of the frame. Um, and then I'll shift the frame 90 degrees and then start um, mocking up the placements for um, the three more GPUs. We'll go ahead and set the frame aside and we'll focus on one of the graphics cards. This is a GeForce GTX 1060 for the win. This is the six gig card. Um, from the reviews and reports that I've seen on the internet, this card has a very good efficiency, um, hashing power or souls to watts. Um, so this one reason why I 
why I went with this card. Um, I have a couple of dual fans. I say a couple, excuse me. I have six dual fan 1060s and I have six single fan 1060s. Um, they all produce about the same performance um, per watt. And really, I haven't noticed that much difference in um, their thermals. Um, I do run the cards uh, overclocked on the memory and on the um, GPU core, but they are undervolted about 65% or down to 65%, undervolted 35%. And the temperature is basically, um, they're stable. Um, around uh, the lowest card is 57 degrees Celsius and the highest card is maybe um, 66, 70 degrees on, on its worst day. Just to help reduce the length of this video, I'm going to do a couple of these time lapses. Um, just showing me getting the rig set up for the first initial card um, and to show getting the um, the OS installed and then all the supporting applications. Um, there are a lot of supporting applications to get this machine fine-tuned uh, within Windows. Uh, there are a lot of miners out there that are using Linux, um, Simple OS, and um, something called ETH Miner, I think. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with the Windows platform. I've been working in the environment for a long time. Um, unless I just am not able to get the rig to run st uh, stably, then um, I really don't see a need for me to switch to a Linux platform. I'm not a Linux guy anyway, um, other than VMware. Um, here I'm showing uh, the riser getting um, installed. And um, let's just take a closer look at these riser cards. Amazon is your friend, especially if you can find a seller um, that doesn't charge sales tax. Um, I'm a Prime member, so I get two-day shipping, which is awesome. When you do a Google search or an Amazon search or a Newegg search for these riser cards, there's 50 million of them out there. Um, they come in red, white, green, black. Um, I've, I've even seen yellow. Um, They've, they come with many different connections, power connection. This one has the six pin. Um, some of them come with uh, Molex connections, um, SATA connections directly on the PCB. Um, and I've seen some that had all three power connections on them. Um, just doing some research on the internet, it doesn't really matter which one you get. As long as it just works, you will get some of them. And in my case, I've had four of the 26 total I purchased not work. Um, you'll see some that show version 6, version 7, and version 8. Again, I really don't see a difference. I have a mixture of version 7 and version 8. Uh, here's another time lapse. We're just going to go through the uh, BIOS config, uh, OS install. Uh, we're going to flash the BIOS. Um, I'm just going off memory. I can't remember if there was actually an OS, uh, excuse me, a BIOS flash update, but I ended up applying it anyway. Um, basics of setting up a GPU miner in Windows. Do the research. Everyone's going to tell you processor doesn't matter. Um, I typically agree with them. Um, most people will tell you that four gigs of RAM is enough. Um, in my case, that wasn't the case. Um, I needed the eight gigs of RAM. Anything over eight GPUs, they're going to tell you to increase the paging file to 16 gigs. I had the space available and it helped to stabilize, stabilize my machine. I ended up going with um, 32 plus gigs of paging. Um, generally, it's not a good idea to run your mining rig off of um, Wi-Fi. I have Gigafy or Gigabit Ethernet, and my bandwidth, um, all of my dongles are in. 
um, or AC capable. I get a throughput of approximately 100 megs per second up and down on the Wi-Fi. So, and, and I haven't seen that be a, um, be a problem for me. I haven't noticed any unusual um, loss in connections. I haven't noticed any um, um, discarded or um, failed um, work or blocks or hashing, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, the system runs stable for me. I do have it scripted to do some maintenance. Uh, twice a day, the miner gets restarted and the cache gets cleared. Um, at 1 a.m., uh, both rigs reboot um, just to refresh them. They do auto log in. They do auto run the scripts. Um, and I monitor runtime and hashing. And if anything falls out of parameters, the miners get reset. Uh, typically, um, they run 24-7 other than the scripted reboots. Uh, I do have remote access to them so that I can monitor them while they're away. Um, and here I am going on and on about the mining rigs, which that will be discussed in detail in video three. Um, but back to this one. Um, notice the precision X up, um, again, a waste of time. If you anything over eight GPUs, um, once you hit 10, it, it won't even launch. It won't even run. I use Nvidia inspector and I have that scripted to manage my overclocks. Um, what else can I say about this build? Um, so ideally, like I like stated before, this frame was a good, um, test bed. Um, I learned a lot in building it. Um, but it just doesn't support my needs um, running 13 GPUs. So I've gone with another frame that you will see in video three. Um, right now I'm performing my speed tests. Again, this is off of Wi-Fi. So uh, total uh, download speed, um, 109, 110. And I think, uh, oops. Look at that, 115 download off of Wi-Fi. And I think upload is even faster. Um, so thank you all very much for joining me for this video. Um, video number three will be coming up shortly. Please like and subscribe and place a comment in the bottom if you have any questions. Thank you.